Alright, so this. So this is the jawbreaker strategy. This is what I call the jawbreaker strategy for Hive Treasure Wars. So this is gonna be our treasure, this slime block. Yes, view position. So this is our treasure. Our green team, I guess. And so if we come over here we can see that wool is five gold. Wood is 10 gold, uh, concrete is 15 gold, andesite is 20 gold, and stone is 30 gold, and, oh my god, can't talk, blast proof glass is 2 emeralds, there we go, so, jawbreaker strategy, jawbreakers have lots of color layers, so, the whole premises of it is making multiple layers of different materials. So like wood, concrete, this, and this. So this usually works most likely late game, so if we're gonna defend our treasure, we're gonna take a layer of wood. Do that. So now it's like defended. We can make two layers of it premises is getting as many layers and making it so like it looks like you only need one material like a tool like a pickaxe or an axe so we have our wood and then we're gonna put some andesite on it because so now they think oh we're gonna need it I'm gonna need a pickaxe for this because they won't see the wood I'm just gonna buy a pickaxe. But some people are gonna be like, well, I'm gonna take five emeralds and buy a block breaker so I can just blow the whole thing to pieces. That's where you can do the glass and make it so it can't blow up. But something you can do is put, before we put the glass on, you can put a layer of end stone on it, so that way, when they blow it up, the glass will protect like a bunch of layers, the wood, the andesite. It obviously costs a lot of gold, too. So you're probably going to want like a max gold spawner for this. And it's most likely going to be a little time consuming. But if you want a good defense, then this is probably the best route to go. Oh, I actually might run out of room. So then we can put our blast proof glass on so it protects the uh, andesite and the wood and the end stone. And next, so you can see where the name comes from the jawbreaker shaft. I'm not sure if this is an original idea. I just kind of thought of it. That, there, there. Oh my god, my lights made him glare. No! I was gonna be like, poor video quality, bad. Dislike. Mm. No, stop. So now that we have our glass here. If they see glass, they're gonna think, they're gonna know that they're gonna need some glass proof thing. But now, if you put a layer of like, let's put wool here. You can put it with every block you want in whatever order, but as long as you put like glass as the second to last block that you put, then you should be good because they won't know it's there. And if they don't buy a block breaker, then the glass is kind of pointless, but it's still an extra layer of protection. Even though glass is pretty weak when it comes to, like, actually hitting it in survival mode. But I was in the right place. There, 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 Ugh. there, 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 and there. So now 
they just see this mountain of wool. And they're gonna be like, oh, I'll get my block breaker. I'll get my block breaker and I get rid of it. I'll take my block breaker and blow it up. And obviously, like, a blast-proof glass would be like, it would protect it because they won't know it's there. Because they it protects it from the thing. So, obviously, if I blow it up, it's going to blow up the glass because the, the command box, it shows it as blast-proof glass so it doesn't get blown up by the TNT. So if I blow it up, it's going to make a huge crater and it look stupid. So that is the strategy, the jawbreaker strategy. I hope you like it or use it.